Hey, what is up, beer tubers? Eric back at you with yet another beer review, and today I'm looking at another can craft beer from Minnesota. It's uh, fitting a theme here, and sorry to be kind of boring, but uh, I just kind of have to go with what's locally readily available for now since I just moved into the new house, which I'll eventually do a little tour of, but uh, I'm not sure when. We're still unpacking. This is day two in the new house, and I've got, like I said in the the other reviews, I've got reviews all over different places um, from the old house and the new house that are just filmed and not put up yet. Yet I'm too damn busy. Anyways, this is going to kick off um, probably a good amount of winter beers that I plan to review. And I'm looking at another one from Indeed Brewing Company. It is the Stir Crazy Winter Ale. So this is basically a brown ale brewed with cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, Raisins, brown sugar, and other natural flavors. Clocks in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. And uh, I've had it before. I've had it on cask. I've had it on draft. I've had it out of the bottle when it first came out. And I'm really excited to see these guys just keep chugging along and making new beers and canning new beers and getting them out to more people. So here is the pour. I'm going to stir crazy. Pardon my grip. Yeah, that is exactly what you would expect it to be, is a really nice American brown ale. About a pinky's worth of really deep mocha java colored head. And you can immediately smell those vanilla beans coming out. Pardon me, I've got the sniffles here, so let's get our nose into it. Yeah, I get, um, as a home brewer, when you buy vanilla beans and use them in homebrewed beer, it has this almost off character vanilla like rubber tire scent if you will and I, I I'm kind of getting that almost like the vanilla beans are overpowering and they were left in too long but yeah there's a good amount of uh cocoa nibs chocolate I don't smell any like brown sugar uh there are some dark fruit presents here uh I I don't know if I'd go a distinct raisin nose but it's an overall a nice smelling Christmas beer, and generally I don't really like the whole idea of Christmas beers, uh, just because I think they're usually poorly executed. Um, why not make a peppermint stout like I do, or something a little bit more unique? But anyways, hey, this one, this one I will have to say I do like more than others, so cheers. And this one, immediately you get hit with this like American brown ale, molasses, brown sugar, vanilla, and chocolate bomb. Um, and it, the flavors are all infused really well to one drinkable, enjoyable taste. Uh, there's faint dark hints on the end here of the tongue. And it finishes um, with a little boozy character. And I, I guess I wouldn't expect that from 6.5%. But it finishes nicely, and it's, uh, it's a beer that I'm glad I picked up. It says Dust Bowl Suds, canned 11.3 of 13. So this is just under a couple weeks old. But yeah, I... Like I said, not really fond of Christmas uh, style ales or beers or whatever. So this one to me is kind of forgettable. I'll definitely pick it up if I'm bringing it to the family or something like that. Otherwise, yeah, take it or leave it. I'm going to have to give it, uh, stylistically speaking, I think they executed what they set out to do. And again, I love their art. I don't know if you can see that without the glare there. Lots of detail on those cans. Uh, it's an 80 out of 100 beer. It's it's a B effort. Yeah, not much else to say, guys. So thanks for joining me for yet another Minnesota Can Craft Beer Review. See you again in another one very shortly, I'm sure. Cheers.